we present all my island people say We people celebrating all it from my homeland Like my old man say there's nothing impossible So we have to bring this message to my brother lyrical Straight from the crew out to the blue We represent the voices of my ancestors calling And I was getting more than my culture is falling Now we have a step up for the past when it's calling Once the was is stop, ain't nobody gonna stop us People, everybody, would you listen to us for a start? No boy complaining and that's we partaking We represent the fire of the ones falling We resemble true art When we bust the line Flip the rabbits from a heart No, there's never gonna be another Everybody's Previously on Delos Not knowing anything about rigging The boys give Delos a new rig While at the dock What are you guys up to? <laughs> Running oh, a shopping list Yeah, A massive shopping list yeah. For like six months We're putting six. in Categories. <laughs> really? It's that big. What categories do you have so far? So we've got dry goods, other stuff, cleaning Toilet pottery, yeah. and snacks. We've got to have a snack one. Spices and sauces, mm. it's a very important one. Yeah. Peanut butter. Hey, hey, Leopa! While half of the crew was changing the rig, the rest of us went provisioning. We already bought heaps of stuff in Malaysia, but it was now time for a final massive provisioning. Our goal was to leave Thailand with enough food to last us for six months. Let's do this, people! Do we have any more white flour left? Yeah. yeah. I think we have like eight packs or something. Right. So we could just get like a hundred, another big pack of Earl Grey and then yeah. like a big pack of green tea. Now how many bottles of alcohol we drink per month? So we can figure out how much sugar, sugar we need. Because that's mainly what we use yeah. sugar for. And then we have to include some yeah. baking how as well. How many bottles of alcohol will we go through a month? Ten, we think, so far. No, if not more. I would say, like, increase it a bit. Fifteen. Yeah. Mm. So if we do do ten bottles a month, yeah. so yeah, six kilos. So thirty six. So do forty. Yeah. Forty packs of sugar. Forty kgs of sugar for six months, just for the alcohol. 40. So we're off to do our first provisioning run. <laughs> oh man, it's freaking hot. Sweating a lot. And we're gonna go to Macro, which is like a bulk food store. It's big provisioning. So we're gonna see our cruiser car now. Uh, because when you rent a car, you can either get a regular car or a cruiser car. And a cruiser car is way better. <laughs> no power steering. <laughs> no AC. Yeah, it's usually a piece of shit what I, from what I heard, but uh, it's cheap. It's and exactly what we want. It's exactly what we need, yeah. It's a nice car. Well, we I need to do a car, Yeah, look at that. I haven't driven a manual in a while. <laughs> Um, so we're at our first stop. This is Macro, which is like a bulk food store. Yes, you can see the trolleys ahead, like they're massive. So we can try to, we're gonna try to find heaps of stuff. This is our first stop. We've got like four or five stops to go to, so this is the start. And we have a, have a lift, matching lift. Let's do this! So we're gonna go and get some canned foods first. Um, so we're gonna come back here through time, so we don't have a lot of space in the car. So we're gonna stop with that and then check out if we have, like, if they have any good snacks here too. Snacks. So yeah, that's our mission. Yeah. All right, see you in a bit. Okay. Bob's and I, we're on the dry goods. Oh shit, it's backwards. <laughs> no, it's not. Dry goods. Okay, let's so we're go. gonna go this way. Perfect. Oh, ah, to the left. Yeah. This is what we need, mate. Big packs of rice. <laughs> so here we are in Macro in Phuket, and we're not actually going to be filming it, so. We're trying to be real hush hush about it. So, so we need 30 kgs of rice. That's like 15 bucks. <laughs> For 30 kilos of rice. And that's feeding 
seven people for six months. So we got ten of these. Bags of black tea for breeze kombucha. Yes. The store is fucking awesome. Yeah, so uh, we can't pay with credit card, uh, apparently. So we're trying to find an ATM to get 31, 32,000 bucks to pay with. And yeah, let's go. <laughs> we tried to withdraw enough cash, but our daily limit didn't allow us. Not our day today. So you're not allowed to film in there, unfortunately. We've been in for about three hours now. <laughs> and apparently, uh, or unfortunately, they didn't take part either. So we had to like scramble together all our cash and out to some disturbing things. I don't know. We got it paid and we're out of here. Yeah. Let's get the f out of here. <laughs> It felt insane to buy so much food. Funny thing is though, when we made our shopping list, we kind of half guessed the quantity we needed for everything. But at the store, we followed the list religiously. Round one, check. Put your feet in here. I think we can fit you. Hi Karen. That was a shit show, mate. Yeah. She's pointing like, something. What? What's she saying? She's in white. I is think it? our car is too low or something is falling out. Open up the door. What? Are we too low? I don't know. What flex wire? Oh my god! <laughs> You're kidding that. Mate, that is like flat. No, it's not it, it, it's not it's not flat. It's definitely not flat. I think we just need air. Nothing is working for us today. So we're gonna we just took pretty much all of the heavy shit out of the car. All the cans and stuff. And um, we're gonna go to the gas station and get some air in the tire and then come back, put everything in and see if it's okay. Well, yeah. Thank you. It works, I think. We rented this today. You're tripping over there. That's a cursing car. Sweet? Yeah, perfect. All good, yeah? Thumbs up. Oh, thank you. So now we're going to go and um, eat something because we're starving. The car is full of stuff. and uh, It's now night time. Yeah, we are. Tired. So we're just putting everything into the boat and I am sweaty. This is like 8,000 degrees in here. And yeah, it's a hot one. The next morning we spent hours trying to organize our shopping. Even though Dell's got a lot of storage space, this was pushing it. It was only the beginning. And we were a bit scared everything wasn't going to fit, especially since we bought over a thousand beers in Langkawi. Yep, that's how we roll. Beers first, survival later. Hello there. Hi. I'm making pancakes for breakfast. So we have pancakes, Swedish style, today. And I got some strawberries um, as well. We're just putting all the cans away. <sighs> We bought like 400 cans. <laughs> mission. Now we're gonna see. Um, yeah, so we also managed to to get um, to use the freezer for the restaurant from the restaurant. So we chucked all of the rice in there, which is good. So we're gonna go back today and buy some more flour and stuff, which we also need to freeze. So that's awesome because we don't really have much space in our freezer. So and why, and why cool do you guys. why do you freeze them? Because you have the eggs. Uh, from the bugs, they're already in the package, so they will hatch, and then you have like instead of rice, you have a full bag of black bugs. So we just want to <laughs> avoid that happening. So many tourists. Uh, the highlight of the day when we're going provisioning is getting in the car with AC. Getting 
go get um, toiletries, like 150 rolls of toilet paper, um, 100 boxes of milk, and all the other random crap that we didn't get last time. <laughs> Ready? Yet. Um, so yeah. we have a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we're just heading back. So the boys can help us unpack and everything. And yeah, good stuff. In the V-Bath, we put all cereal stuff: sugar and flour, some snacks, and a lot of nuts. And as you can see, all cupboards were full. Brady and Yosha even had to clear out some other things to fit it all. None of us slept good for the whole week. It was so hot in the marina with no wind. And of course, when we could have used the AC, it stopped working. My favorite time of the day was showering at the marina restrooms, because they had both AC and awesome showers. It saved me that week. We tried to buy toilet paper for the whole trip, but it takes up a lot of space. We decided that we were only allowed to use one square at a time. You gotta plan ahead. So I think we did pretty good. I mean, I don't think we need to get much else apart from um, milk. Huh? And we need, still need some like dried fruit and that kind of stuff. We only have rice and so far, like we didn't have any. I guess we have what you guys as well. Yeah. And chickpeas. We were so lucky to be anchored at a marina when doing our last provisioning. Imagine this load of stuff on dinghy rides back and forward. It saved us so much time. By the way, here's the complete shopping list, unedited.
lot of time stuff back and forth because it's like a high do you is he there yeah and they didn't know that oh he didn't yeah. know would it be yeah. better if we come back tomorrow right shall we come back tomorrow is that better for you morning can you yeah morning yeah we'll come back tomorrow just morning. ask no yeah we under yeah we understand okay, okay. thank you Sweet. thanks let's go to the other place that's where we have most of it anyway <laughs> Pasta and rice? Right? Yes, in your freezer. Right? Yes. So uh, we just were coming to get it. Four days ago we put it in your freezer. Oh, there he is. Hi. What's the Hello. Very heavy. Come on, guys. Thank you. Come on, Karen, let's go! Come on, Karen, let's go! Hey, hey, hey! Pick up the pace, ladies! Keep it up, pick it up. Taping. Taping what? Chips. What? To the wall. <laughs> or <laughs> under my bed. <laughs> this is my bed and this is my secret stash. Nice. We made it! Man, that was a lot of hard work. You guys helped us through it though. You had been buying us beer, so Brian had a surprise planned for the last night. Japanese sushi all you can eat buffet with the drinks. We got so excited. Seven hungry sailors and two hours to eat as much as we could. I could not believe we were done shopping. The boat was definitely lower leaving the marina than when we had arrived. We counted that we had bought 25 trolleys of food this week. Where did we put it all? I had never bought that much food in my life. What a unique experience though. Now Max and I had learned yet another new part of the sailing lifestyle. And preparation and teamwork is super important. Delos. We meet a local expat that owns a Mexican restaurant. We go to a ping pong show and get ready to sail to India. <laughs> 